Okay guys, so I'm at Walgreens. It looks pretty empty in here right now, so that's kind of surprising for this time Sunday morning, 11.30 Sunday morning, but that's cool. Anyhow, um, I honestly, there's so many good deals this week at Walgreens, I honestly didn't even want to come today, but I do have this save $5 that expires um, today. So I did have to come to get something um, to use that. So I'm just going to um, go in and take a look at the deals and I'm going to try to get uh, the lowest out of pocket I can um, using this coupon and hopefully I'll choose something that gives me register rewards or, you know, um, points back. But we'll we'll just see what okay, I end up So done. I am back from Walgreens. Things did not go as planned once I got in there. Um, there were just so many good deals that I decided I would use some points and pick up some items um, and try to get the best deal that way. Um, my theory was that if I purchased the you know two different toothpaste deals that I would end up getting register rewards for each one um, and that you know then I could use those later this week to go back and do another trip. Um, so it didn't really work out the way it was supposed to. So let's just go over the receipt and we'll we'll see okay, what happens. So for the um, Crest and Oral B, these are on sale for two ninety nine. Um, you can also choose. There's a mouth that's supposed to be a, a scope mouthwash as well. I actually scanned the two that I had and um, they didn't look like they were included. So I just went ahead and grabbed more toothpaste and an Oral B toothbrush, um, two ninety nine each. And then when you buy three. You should be getting a $3 register reward back. So as you can see, I did use $4 um, in points. And then as far as coupons, this is the only digital coupon I used today. I had a $5 off three. So check your folder to see if you have that. I do want you to be aware, I also had a $2 off one Oral-B toothbrush. Um, so I made sure that I unclipped that first so that it wouldn't apply that and then not take off this $5 digital. So um, that was the first deal. Um, the only problem that I had with this um, is the register reward did not print. So now I'm in the predicament of having to contact them and more than likely they'll have me reach out um, to Catalina to try to get that replaced. Um, so that's another story. So let's go ahead and move into the second transaction. Um, for nice, there's a lot of nice items that are buy one, get one free. Um, let's see, I think it's the bowls and plates are buy one, get one free. Uh, but they also have dishwasher packs, buy one, get one free, and they had all the different sizes. These were the last two of this big um, package, the 48 count. So I went ahead and grabbed those. They are $6, and so the second one was free, and that one is um, the transaction that I ended up using my $5 off register reward from last week. Um, so that was a great, I thought it was a great thing. That's always an item I like to get when I can, um, because there's not a lot of coupons that bring these really low in price. So the other items that were on this were the Lysol, those are on sale two for four. Now we just got coupons today. Um, there'll be a picture somewhere in the video that shows the coupons that came out. I used both of mine. I only had two inserts, so I used mine, but there were other coupons too, like for the spray um, and toilet bowl cleaner. There's, you know, just all the different Lysol coupons came out today. So, and they're on sale two for four. The Colgate, those are $2.99 as well. And I had coupons from 3-1. I'm not sure which insert they were in, but they were 50 cents off. Um, but when you bought two, you were supposed to get a $4 register reward. So that's the second issue on my transaction, is that I didn't get the register reward on either transaction. So here's the receipt on that one. $6 for one, zero on the second. Um, the Lysol are two for four. And then the Colgate were $2.99 each. I did have a 50 cent coupon for each Lysol, 50 cent coupon for each Colgate, and the $5 um, register reward. So my subtotal was $8.98 and I should have got a $4 um, register reward back. So unfortunately that didn't happen. Um, I, I did end up using $5 in points. I thought I was gonna be able to use 10, but I must have calculated wrong. I think it's because 
when I did that, I, I actually calculated $12 for those and then subtracted the six. So I think my tax was off just a little bit, just enough to make it below the $10. So I would have to, you know, pay uh, <laughs> out of pocket a little bit more than expected. But anyhow, still was a good deal for the dishwasher packs and obviously for Lysol products if you need those. So now the predicament again, I have um, Colgate and Crest. I did not get my register rewards. So I'm going to decide whether or not I want to just return those items, which I might do, um, because honestly, I have enough toothpaste. Like I said, the theory was to get those register rewards to be able to use for my next purchase. But in reality, since that deal didn't work out and it would probably be much easier since I plan on going back, I might just return them and then they'll probably put it on a Walgreens gift card and I'll just use it for that purchase. So um, let me know, what do you think, what would you do? Would you bother trying to reach out to Catalina, contact Walgreens customer service or just return them? Um, that's it for me though today. Uh, make sure you guys get in there and get, there's so many amazing deals. I need to start doing like just a best deals video. Um, and just go through the flyer because I, I can't always, obviously I'm not going to buy all the deals and I can't always record in store. Um, even if I intend to, sometimes I can't once I get in there. So, all right, well, let me know what you guys think. And, um, other than that, have a great day and a great week ahead. Thanks for watching. Bye.